up, what's new, guys? Back with a fresh vinyl review. And if you can't tell, we're doing the X plus 25 centimeter Rick exclusive King Ghidorah 1964. Bam! Okay, let's get some facts out of the way about this figure. Why is he red, goldish, white mix, and red, blue, whatever I said, colors? Why is he these crazy colors? Why? Because I'm going to tell you. You ready? And begin. Okay, so the original design for King Ghidorah, he was supposed to look like this. If you remember, you've probably seen on the internet, Facebook, web pages, yada, 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 uh, uh, you know, what, seeing these designs, this design specifically, in either the movie posters or, you know, some very few limited production photos from Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, okay? This was what he was supposed to look like. This was the idea. This is what the special effects team, you know, and the suit makers were thinking. Let's make him look like this, okay? France Ghidorah, American Ghidorah, whatever you want to call him. Rainbow Ghidorah. It looks really cool, though, doesn't it? But why did it not stick? Because when they were doing the matting, you know, test shots, you know, obviously using real-world sets, you know, like if they were filming out in the mountainside of Japan, then they would mat King Ghidorah in the film. On top of that, because the blue it wasn't, you know, the color, the, I think it was the blue that wasn't meshing well with the, the matte. You know, because you kind of like green screen. So if you're wearing something green and then you have a green screen, the green on your shirt's going to like disappear or blend in with the surroundings. So they decided that we need to just go with one color. That's pretty much the reason why they scrapped this idea and just went with the old gold. Boom. Okay. So that's pretty much the fact behind that. If I screwed it up to everybody out there that knows this information better than I do, just hit me up in the comments. Tell me, no, Rich, you're wrong. You're stupid. This is why, because I don't know everything. I only I ask questions and I try to put the information out there as best as I possibly can. Okay, so it is the Rick um, figure was literally released uh, end of May of 2019. Bam! If you went Rick, you probably paid about five, four, five, I don't know, five hundred bucks, give or take, plus shipping, whatever it was. I can't even remember. It's a lot of money. It's a big figure, fragile, and all that good shit. Um, and let me tell you why I went Rick. First of all, I'm like, yeah, I wanted like a basics looking King of Doors 64, all gold, you know? And I felt like, oh, you know, the, the, the whoa, shoot, the, the Rick, I gotta be careful here. I gotta stop. That's what being Italian, you gotta sit on my hands, especially when you got all this fragile shit in front of you. Um, I was like, you know, will this vibe roll with X plus, you know, cause it's not really too many kaiju figures outside the Ultraman stuff. That has all these crazy colors. But I was like, if I go all gold, I'm going to feel like it's too similar to the, the 68. You know, and I honestly, I did a lot of comparison pictures or looked at a lot of pictures of the 64 here when he was all gold while looking at this one. And even now, this is the first time I'm looking at the two of them together, even though I'm looking at them back. Um, they, they were just way too similar. This Ghidorah 64 used recycled parts from the 68. Like, the tails are almost identical. And if I look at the... Like, yeah, like, literally, like, the tail frills on his tails are pretty much the same. The positioning of the tails is almost the same, practically identical. You know, there was some some very, very similar uh, similarities in the legs, in the body, and everything. But there is enough difference, especially the heads are different. The, the heads are positioned a little bit different. The 64 heads are actually shorter. Jessica Etchells was pointing that out as we were discussing with Steve, or she was, that, yeah, the 64 appears to have shorter necks. I keep, I'm afraid I'm going to hit this guy. Oh, gosh. Stop touching. Stop. Anyway, so I decided it was best to go Rick because I wanted them both to stand out. I didn't want, you know, if I bring somebody in the collection room, not a Godzilla fan, they're going to be like, why, why you got two of the same one? Excuse me, they're not the same. Come here, let me show you the differences. Ugh. No. So, if I have, now that I have these two, somebody's going to walk in and be like, cool, what's the story on that one, the Rick here? Because it obviously looks totally different. Okay, so that's why I went Rick. And honestly, there really isn't many, anything really out there. There's a couple, I know some uh, stylized pieces. I want to say, um... Oh, crap. I'm not sure what, what um, it's not Marmot. Maybe it's Morusan. But there's, you know, the rainbow version of this Ghidorah and that. But there's not many versions of this out there. You know, so this was a good opportunity as far as I was concerned to jump on 
having this representation of Ghidorah. Uh, you know, and this the standard 68, he could stand in from a Ghidorah three headed monster lineup any day of the week. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the wings. Wings are ABS plastic, just like the 68. The fragile, I will admit, I was a little weary. <clears throat> oh, I will backtrack a little bit here. I got this out of the box, no issues. Let's look at the box real quick. Boom, just basic standard black, you know, black and brown box. And the inside came with the plastic housing. I was surprised X Plus went that route again because when I unboxed my 68 here, the head popped off, the light at the, the center neck. I was like, and if you've seen my unboxing video, you saw how that went. That wasn't fresh. And needless to say, even with the same type of packaging, this Ghidorah unscathed, flawless, fresh as can be. He didn't even stink, but that's okay. So obviously the next thing was get him out of the box. Let's carefully take the wings out and put those on. Again, I was weary about putting these wings on because, you know, uh, there's somebody in the X Plus group at the time of recording that had problem with his 68 wings and it's like broken and positioned down and He's okay with it. I mean, it does kind of look like he's doing an attack with his wing, but it's just like you don't want that to happen. He's, he's so fragile. We spent a lot of money on him. Putting these wings in, um, you know, I felt like I needed to force it in, but once I got it in, it, it feels really, really snug, and there's no concern with it dropping. I did this in my 68 review here, so I don't advise anybody to do this, but that's how snug they're in. If you're going to do this, why would you? You know, don't. So they're they're secure in there. Obviously, working it's uh, working against gravity. They're not going to fall out in the normal position uh, pose that we have it on our shelf. Okay. Uh, the figure itself, the sixty four, it's absolutely lighter, which is amazing. This one, I forget if it's got. I think the legs are filled with resin. This one, it's not. It's uh, it feels solid. It could just be thicker vinyl. Or maybe there's some solid vinyl in there, but it's definitely lighter than the 68. So that was something I immediately noticed right out of the box. I was like, wow, this is much, much lighter. And then I was like, I hope that's not a concern in the summertime. You know, if it gets warm in, in, in the room, even though I got the AC on, if the figure starts slouching because the vinyl gets soft and then the wings are going to weigh it down, is the figure going to tip over or anything? But even with the, the wings are kind of kicked back, not as far back as the 68, but and the, with the tails, the figure it's it's the weight's on on his ass, so it really shouldn't do that ever. If it does, then that's just a nightmare. You don't want that to happen. But I think I, we should be okay. There shouldn't be any slouching issues, but you never know. So just just make sure the wings are on secure and you got them on a, in a safe spot. Okay. Detail again, X plus everything you'd expect out of an X plus figure. It's Details crisp, beautiful. All the scales and everything are nicely, very nicely done. Uh, the heads look beautiful. I like how the tongues on this one are more snake-like. You know, they're like whipping up there, like uh, okay. Uh, the horns and everything. I think these are made out of a little bit more vinyl than yeah. The horns are on the softer side of vinyl, but you still want to be careful with those because those could snap and break. You end up having to glue them. Um, so really, 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 really happy with this. Very happy I went, Rick, because it's just a it's a beautiful piece. You, I, I just am stunned by its gorgeousness, and it is gorgeous. The wings really just capture the awesomeness of this figure. Okay. Um, also with the wings, be careful of the tips. The little ooh, see, you gotta be careful. Just like I hit this one, it's not broken, but you just want to be careful. See, all the things that I'm doing, take notes. Don't be like Rich because I'm an accident waiting to happen. Uh, what else could I say about the figure? Again, this was the Rick, so it doesn't come with anything extra like the 68 came with the little flying saucer ships. And that's pretty much it to the figure. I really can't add anything else. It's awesome. Um, I, I know this is sold out pretty much wherever it was available, so your best bet, if you wanted to get one and have to go on eBay or Yahoo Japan and hunt one down, or maybe somebody's going to be selling one in the X-Plus group, so we'll have to keep your eyes peeled. And what's cool is we're getting a 64B Godzilla from Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. Uh, so again, he'll he'll pair up great. I'm not even worried about this not looking suit accurate because at the end of the day, this was really what he was going to look like, so it's awesome. It's like having a piece of nostalgia on your toy shelf, and it looks beautiful. It really does. Even looking at it from the back, it's just gorgeous. Okay? 
And I'm just going to shut up there because I'm just going to start rambling and probably end up hitting the wings or something and make for good television here if I damage something because that wouldn't be fresh, right? Right. Did I miss anything? No. Boom. Oh, and the scale pretty good together. Anyway, all right, I'm done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next Fresh Vinyl review. Remember, people, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl. Bam.